Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ, and it's time for another Patch Tuesday, and it falls on Valentine's Day this year, which is nice. If you go through the blog, I had AI generate a love poem to Patch Tuesday. There's a lot of Valentine's-themed stuff in there. But if you're watching this, I assume now you just want the uh, information more than me reading a poem. And it's kind of a, it's an interesting one. There's a total of 75 vulnerabilities, which is not bad. Nine of those are critical, also not bad. Two have already been exploited. That's not great, but that's been within the parameters. Uh, but the weird part is four of these are rated a 9.8 on the CVSS scale, which is really bad. The mitigating factor on that is what is impacted. It requires certain environments for everything to be there. Uh, so we'll kind of dive into that. There are three that have to do with the protected extensible authentication protocol. So if you are using that, you might want to take a look at your network policy and and either get this patched or update your policy to not allow it. Uh, so three 9.8s, they all have network attack vector, low complexity, no privileges required, and the user doesn't have to do anything. That means that they can just, if they can reach the external system, they can run that. So it's one of those, it's really bad if you have that set up. So take, I'll talk to your network, network admin, ask if you're using that and see if you can't change it. And if you can't change it, maybe up your patching schedule because that's, that's some bad news. Uh, the other 9.8 is uh, uh, 21716, and this involves Microsoft Word. Uh, normally, this doesn't make it up to 9.8, uh, but what this one is is if the corrupted document shows up in the preview pane, it's going to execute the code, and that makes it a little more dangerous than the user has to open it. At, you still have to maybe click on it, but where they don't have to open it completely, it's a bit more dangerous. So that once again, network, low, uh, no privileges and no user interaction. They say no user interaction, but they do have to at least highlight it to shows up in the preview pane. But that's another one. That's that's real bad. Patch your servers that host your Office 365 or all your systems there to make the preview pane a little bit safer for you. And the last one, we're going to go to a little bit less terrifying. Uh, it's a 7.3. The reason we're talking about this one, honestly, it wouldn't even get mentioned, but this is one that has been exploited. And this is a security feature bypass for Microsoft Publisher. Uh, so this one, it requires a local vector, so they have to be there. It has some privileges required, and it does require the user to go to a corrupted website to execute the code. That's a lot of things that make this not easy to do. But where it has been done, it's worth knowing that it's there and maybe look at patching a little bit quicker on that one. And, and that's kind of it. It wasn't, uh, I don't know, it wasn't a terrible past Tuesday. The initial... There's four 9.8s, scared the crap out of me, but looking into it, it is not great, but it's not as bad as it first seemed. Either way, you want to get patched sooner than later. Uh, if you're looking to automate your patching needs every month, it's PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory make that pretty easy. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.